Hello friends, I'm back again with a new video. So today I'll demonstrate how to add new user to Windows account. So let's get started. So first step is to go to Windows, the icon that is there on the taskbar, click on that and choose the option settings. So once you go to settings, you will see there will be number of options available. From that you have to choose the accounts option. So click on the accounts option and on the accounts option you will see that there will be number of options again. So you will choose for family and other users option. Once you click on the family and other user option you will be able to see more further two options which will allow you to go ahead and create a new Microsoft Windows 11 account that would be for a family member or for another user. So let me also show you another method to come to this page if you do not have the settings option available here. All you have to do is just click right on the Windows icon and you will see an option called settings which will be available. So click on that. Once you click on that, again you are directed to the same page. So again the same process, you have to click on accounts and then from there you have to click on family and others. And you will get these two options, add a family member or add another user. So let's get started now. So today we will demonstrate how to add other user. Okay, so click on the green button add account. Once you click on that, you will be able to see a window which pops up. That will be a Microsoft window and it will ask you for a Microsoft email account. So if you do not have an email account of Microsoft, not to worry. Simply select the option in blue that says I do not have this person's sign in information. So for the person whom you want to use, create another account, you do not have their email information, not to worry, just click on the blue option as I just shown you here. Once you click on that, this window will pop up. Now on this window, what you have to do is, you have to select one of these three options. So if you have a phone number and the person is there with you, then use this option because he might get an OTP on his mobile. And if he doesn't have you, the person is not with you and he's visiting you in some days, then simply click on add a user without a Microsoft account. So once you click on this third option, you will get an interface which will ask you that who is going to use this PC. So suppose we assume a name called Bob. So Bob is coming over and he's going to use our PC. So I'll uh, insert his name Bob and then a simple password that you can use. And once you enter the password, you also have three more security questions to answer in case you forget the password. So I use a very simple answer and a comma answer for all the three questions because I don't, I tend to forget. So it's better use a simple uh, answer for all three questions. So what was your pet's name? I'll use A, B, the alphabet A and B. For the second uh, question also I'll use the alphabet A and B and the third one also I'll use the alphabet A and B. So once you complete this form, simply click on the blue button next and you will see Bob's account is created out here. Also if you want to find out how many users are using this account, you have to just press on this window icon again once you press here. At the bottom when you press here again, you will be able to see how many users are actively using this uh, computer. So we just created Bob's account. Now we will also see if we are able to go ahead and log into Bob's account so that uh, the account is uh, functional and when he comes and uses there should not be any issue with that. So I have to sign out from Timothy's account and then I have to re-log in uh, with the credentials that we just processed for the new account. Alright, 